it definitely reflects life and true friendships because you know friendships come and go they have highs they have lows and they change and this year is a big shake-up who were you kind of close friends with Oh, Carol and Dorinda for sure. Really close to Carol and Dorinda. I, I, I love them because a true friendship is when you're not on eggshells. There's some women that you are on eggshells with that they're just waiting for you to mess up and they hold it over you. And you know what? No one's perfect. And my mantra now in life is, who wants to be perfect? Perfection is boring. And a true friend forgives you. You know, you move on. No one's perfect. And Carol and Dorinda just have this great spirit about them. They're both smart and warm and giving and fun. And they don't take themselves too seriously. And they're, um, they're easy breezy friends, you know. They're not high maintenance. I'm surprised that you're not seeing Sonia. Well, you're going to see this season, interesting enough, a shift in the relationship, a major shift between Sonia and I. Yeah. Because of, did something spark that? Or? Um, did something spark that? You'll have to watch the show, and it, it becomes very clear why there's been why there is a, a, a shift in our relationship, and you'll see if we resolve it or not. Dorinda says to you in the trailer, "Say it, forget it, write it, regret it." What, what's kind of going on? Oh, they're going to see an incident where Sonia sends me this text, and this is actually I, where it shows you how my whole mantra has changed. Usually I like confrontation or somehow I get involved in confrontation, though I don't really like it. Somehow I'm always in the middle of it. And this year I'm learning to take a step back and deal with it in a very laid back way. Whether someone's having, like maybe my two good friends are having an argument. Instead of approaching them together, I'll take them to the side each. And Sonia sent me something that was by text and it was pretty horrific. It was actually really horrific and you'll hear about it and watch it on the show. Okay, last question. If you could describe the season in three words, what would it be? This is the first time I can't describe it in three words. There's just, there's too many adjectives, so I can't do it. You'll just have to watch to see why I'm saying that.